On the night of the 13th of August 2003, during an exceptionally hot summer, the canton of Valle suffered one of the worst fires in Swiss history. It started in the mountains near the village of Loic and destroyed around 200,000 trees in some 300 hectares of forest. But it wasn't necessarily an ecological disaster. Just five years later, it was evident to scientists that nature has its own ways of recuperating. We think that seeds lying dormant in the earth for 170 years were encouraged to germinate by the fire. We know that there are plants which behave in this way. For example, the wood cranes bill. Five years on, Philip Werner returns to the scene. Certain arbres. Some trees, like the oak, were able to re-sprout because their roots weren't completely destroyed in the fire. The pines and fir trees, which made up the bulk of the trees at the upper levels, can't do this. These deciduous trees have already grown to 8 metres and cover 40% of the area here. More than 600 varieties of plants have been recorded. There's lots of life here. It's very rich. The disappearance of the forest has also encouraged the return of certain species of birds that thrive in open spaces. You have to remember that dense forests aren't always that good for nature. It's still at a very rich intermediate stage. But there are already a lot fewer of the rare birds that we saw here at the beginning. In the aftermath of the fire, wild service trees, Sorbus torminalis, were planted to try to repair the damage. But these didn't survive. Ten years on, it's clear that nature can sort itself out. <laughs>